Yes. Let's see what kind of music people like. How many people out there like classical music from Black Faithful and stuff like that? Yeah. Got a few? Yeah. Okay, okay. How about uh, jazz? Herbie yeah. Hancock? Uh -huh. People like that? Okay, a few like that. Uh, country Western? Yeah. Quite a few, quite a few. Um, how about rock and roll? Yeah. All right. How about rap? <laughs> well, a lot of people find it strange that me, I love to rap. And when I rap, I have a special name. I call myself Tiny Tim. <laughs> so I'm going to get into a little bit of my rap outfit. It's too hot for the whole thing. And I'm going to do you a little rap. Yo, yo, yo. Tim at the house, and this is a little something that I like to call the six card wrap.
I learned how to log on. Had a little chat room. <laughs> and she's pretty cute. <laughs> My computer cutie. But I found out she has a job. <laughs> show you a magic trick. Okay. I'm going to teach you a magic trick. Okay. So I'm going to first do the magic trick and I'm going to explain how it's done. So you can go home and show your family and everybody else that would like to learn this magic trick. Okay. So first what you do is you take a silk. You wave it around. You wave it through your hands. And you start putting it in your right hand, or your left hand, if you're right-handed, if you're right-handed, you put it in your left hand, and then what happens is that when you get it all stuffed in, you come out with an egg. Now the trick is, this is the trick, there's a hole in the back of the egg. <laughs> now you didn't see the egg, because I had a palm in my hand. And see, this is where the silk goes in. So I was waving the silk around, but I had the egg in my hand, and that's called misdirection. You were looking over here. You weren't looking over here, right? So if you want to do the trick, what you got to do first, get yourself an egg. <laughs> Cut a little hole out. Like I mean, there's a little bit of work involved. Okay? You take all the guts out. Okay. And then you paint it with vinegar. And you put it in the oven for 24 hours at 450. <laughs> and then you take it out and you paint it again with vinegar to put it back in the oven for 12 hours at 250. And you take it out, and you're right. Or you go to Walmart and buy yourself a plastic egg and cut a hole in it. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> All right, so this is how you do it. Very important now. This is the important part. Take the silk, put it in one pocket. Take the egg, put it in the other pocket. Now when you come out with the egg, because you're going to be palming it now, okay? Don't be going like this. <laughs> you got to come. 
come out natural. Okay? And you, you got the silk. They're looking at the silk. And you're waving it with the same hand with the egg in it. They don't know what's in there. And then you start putting the silk in, with, in the same hand that the egg is in. And you get it all tucked in. And then you come up with the egg. <laughs> but now you've got to watch out. Very important. If there's someone standing behind you, <laughs> you're going to see, you're gonna see the silk. So this is what you do. This is your out. Take the egg and put it in the glass. And you say the word, Sim Salabim. Can you all say that word? Sim And you say it three times. You ready? Sim Salabim. Sim Salabim. Sim Salabim. And you take the egg out. Oh, uh, yeah. And you say it. <laughs> somebody to come up and help me. And you want to help? Great. Well, but he said, you've got to get somebody up here that's crazy. <laughs> I need a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is my magic cane, okay? Now, when you take this cane, I'm going to say, crazy, and then you wave, and you point to the back, okay? You get that? <coughs> All right. Scott, I think I got a piece of music. Crazy music here, I think. need glasses for it. <laughs> okay. Six okay, six go. Take the cane, Mr. Crazy. Now, when you get ready, you just wait. Okay, so you just wait. Do we have any more other crazy people out there? Huh? Come on up here. You crazy too. <laughs> Right, you do the same thing he does. You take the king oh and you get ready to do it. <laughs> 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 Now what you think you're going to do, oh. right? 
say crazy, you point to the back. <laughs> but you're gonna say you're gonna do something crazy, like you're gonna go. <laughs> That's why it's called crazy. Okay, so just, just do something crazy. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Especially you.
Now this is a mystery with a piece of rope, and Nathan, just to show there's no cheating involved, I would like you to examine this rope. I want you to look at this rope real, real close, make sure there's nothing funny about it, okay? So you can hold the rope and look at it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Going right along, I find the middle of the rope. It's about right here. So Nathan, I take the middle of the rope. A pair of scissors. We cut the rope right there. Oh, oh, you know what, Nathan? I did not cut this rope exactly in the middle. One rope's a little shorter than the other rope. That's okay, Nathan, because whenever that happens, we take the rope like this, look at it, and we do it all over again. <laughs> <laughs> I do it one more time, Nathan. I find the middle of the rope. Right here, we take the scissors, we cut it. And just to make the ends a little more even, I'm going to trim them off a bit. Now, Nathan, we come to your big part in the magic. Are you ready? I'm going to give Nathan the magic fan. So, Nathan, when I count to three, can you wave the fan up and down like that, please? Okay, but now this is my favorite magic fan, Nathan. I've had this since I was nine years old. There's only one like it in the whole wide world, so you promise to be very careful? Okay. So, Nathan, with both hands, take the fan, open it up all the way, spread it up. Here we go. <laughs> Nathan, when I count to three, can you wave the fan up and down? And ladies and gentlemen, at the count of three, everyone please say the magic words, purple puppy chow. Here we go. One, two, three. Purple puppy chow. And look what everyone's done. Along with Nathan, you've made those two pieces of rope for what oh. Yeah. <laughs> 
for the first time, name your card. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> card, any card. <laughs> no, seven. What was this? The seven. Space seven. Space seven. Space seven. Seven. Oh, seven. 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 Amazing. <laughs> I knew you'd name that <laughs> You don't believe me? <laughs> Allow me to prove it. <laughs> Earlier on today, I had this funny feeling about one special card. <laughs> and I placed it inside an envelope. Yeah. This oh. one right here. Oh. <laughs> and now, this is where we get the drum roll. <laughs> this is your time to open that envelope. So one card in there. We can pull right. that out and show it to everybody. Oh my God. <laughs> picture of Alan Marie from together 50 years. Yay! And not once, Al Tony, not once have they ever thought about divorce. Murder? <laughs> Enjoy. 
my part of the show. My name is Magical Ash. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. It means a lot to Bree and I that you could all come and enjoy the celebration. And this is why we wanted to do this little magic show for you so we could enjoy and peace as well. So, as you know, we all have three wonderful kids. <laughs> all smart, all graduated, all out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> Self-sufficient. So now we're left in a big house with no kids. But we love it. We can go from room to room. <laughs> so the whole idea is that I would not change a thing that I've done in the past 50 years. And I don't regret the thing that I've done in the past 50 years. Because I think we found the key, the key to that door that enters into the room on after 50 years of marriage, which is more surprises to come. Ooh. <laughs> so if we did all these things, and we roll it up into a little ball and do some real magic and stick it right back on. I would not change a thing to what we've been doing. Thank you all three of you.